Last week, we brought you a story about a new documentary called Brothers. It was created by a young man from Maine looking to honor the life of his little brother while also breaking the stigma surrounding mental illness. Yeah, in light of the film's premiere this week, uh, Sam York wanted to continue this conversation about mental illness and how families can process being faced with an unexpected diagnosis. Sam, good evening. Hey, good evening, guys. Yeah, I'm joined here with Tanya uh, Bailey Curry. She's with NAMI, which is the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Thank you so much for coming in Thank you for today. Uh, but before we start chatting, I just want to play a quick clip from the story last week just to give you a little more context to what we're talking about today. Early 20s, specifically. Um, started doing a lot of very risky behaviors. Um, the unpredictable started to become a little more predictable. We didn't know some of the stuff that was going on in his own mind, you know. It's almost like his brain was attacking who he was. Now, if you see the documentary, you will find later on that JT was later diagnosed with schizophrenia. But going back as a parent, you know, you, you have a, a child who's in their early 20s, you're hearing about, or I should say, seeing this risky behavior. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? What is this risky behavior and, and you know, how can it impact families? You know, it's really frightening for families because what your loved one, what you see your loved one doing is, you know, engaging in some risky behaviors like excessive driving, could excessive speed when driving could be one of them um, that is uncharacteristic of them, but they do so with, without thought of consequence mm. or uh, that the fact that they could be harmed. It's frightening for the family. Yeah, so what what are some other warning signs that people um, might see? You know, and I know we talked earlier that it's yeah. gonna be different for Right. every family absolutely um, some of the warning signs that are classic are you know social isolation withdrawing from family and friends that they would normally engage with um, lack of personal hygiene you know if mm -hmm. the person really was kind of put together before and then all of a sudden there's this real stark change um, you know uh, ris risky behavior we talked about that a little bit uh, substance use can be um, a warning sign as well and then again um, not engaging and really being a productive member in their own life you know kind of stepping back and being a passenger in their own life right so for you dealing with families who are dealing with you know things on their own mm -hmm. um, you know what are they feeling and and what are some of the things that they can do to keep living life as they know it yeah you know that's a great question they are they're fearful because they are the caretaker of which means they are used to having most or all of the answers that can help aid their loved one through this life the thing that we call life and what happens they're thrust into this world where it's very difficult to navigate the mental health system is very complex so they don't have all the answers so the ideal thing is to connect them with other families that can relate to what they're going through and also to maybe take a family to family class you know we have a 12-week class that really teaches families how to understand the ripple effect that mental illness has on their family members and how different family members could be at different stages in their learning curve of understanding on mental illness and how best to support their loved one. Absolutely. Great. Thank you so much for the info and for coming in. Uh, we'll have some more information for you guys on our website and mobile app coming up in a little bit. All right. Uh, Leanne, send you back to you.